Welcome to Kaumudi Global. Recently, the United States supported the entry of India as a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council, a demand India has been raising for a very long time. The US has also supported the permanent membership of countries like Japan and Germany. US President Joe Biden recently called for an inclusive and reformed UNSC and countries including India have demanded reforms and expansion in the most powerful body of United Nations, the UNSC. So, here we need to answer some questions to analyze the issue in depth. What is the structure of United Nations Security Council? Why India, despite being the fastest growing economy in the world, is still a non-permanent member in the UNSC and they need the permanent membership? What are the benefits if India gets a permanent membership? What are the roadblocks to the long-standing demand of India? So, UNSC is one among the five principal organs of United Nations and is the only body which can issue binding decisions on the parties, making it the most powerful UN body. Established in 1945, it is aimed at promoting international peace and security of the nations. Now, Coming to the composition of the body, UNSC has 5 permanent members and 10 non-permanent members including India. The 5 permanent members are France, US, Russia, UK and China which possess immense veto power. So coming to why India is not yet admitted as the permanent member of UNSC, a big reason is the role of China. China has been a roadblock to India's interest in permanent membership, citing that if India is given the membership, then Pakistan must also be given the same. Recently, India criticized China's act of blocking the blacklisting of many Pakistan-based terrorists at UNSC. With the veto power, China can block any resolution or decision, whatever be the majority opinion within the council. India calls for a more inclusive and reformed UNSC, which reflects the contemporary realities of the 21st century. Issues like human rights violation, climate change and the menace of non-state actors are not yet resolved by UNSC. There is a lack of representation of African and Latin American countries and under-representation of Asian countries. Four countries, namely India, Brazil, Germany and Japan, known as the G4 nations, are trying hard to get an entry to the permanent seat of UNSC. India has her own reasons for the same. As the world's largest democracy, as the second most populous country, and as the country with a well-equipped army, India is pushing for the permanent membership. India is also active in promoting climate neutrality, refugee crisis, anti-terrorism, energy security, and achieving the sustainable development goals. So, if India is given the permanent membership, it will be able to represent the underrepresented and underdeveloped countries and will pave the way for a more inclusive UNSC. Also, adherence to democracy, soft power, promotion of international security, commitment to disarmament and non-violence can be promoted on a global scale. Finally, India can create a more democratic UN giving voice to the voiceless. This is Aishwarya signing off. If you like this video, do subscribe the channel. Thank you.